nice. <laughs> I was just wondering, how are you doing? <laughs> So today I'm going to tell you why my past relationships weren't working, how you can manifest a healthy relationship of your own, and, or, or and, how you can be happy on your own. So I used to think that having a successful relationship and showing somebody that you cared meant that you were willing to sacrifice your own needs to spend time with them. I've realized that that is just completely unsustainable. At least for me it is. No, it's it's unsustainable for everybody. You can't do that. You can't just give up freaking self-care. They're still gonna love you if you are slightly less available, like, because you'll be a higher quality person. This is gonna get kind of personal, but I don't care. My last relationship lasted four and a half years, and four of those years were long distance. I was up at UCLA doing college and he was in the Navy doing what the Navy people do. There was not a lot of like lining up of our schedules and my schedule was pretty predictable. I knew when I had class, knew when I had work, but his, you just never knew. So anytime he was free, I would just drop everything and hang out with him or FaceTime him. This, I realized was kind of problematic. It's not that he asked me to do this, but I felt like I needed to because I never wanted him to feel unsupported or unloved. He was off in the military doing something super stressful. Like, I was giving up really seemingly small things from time to time, not from time to time, all the time. <laughs> like a workout or a couple hours of sleep or time to clean my room. But all of these little things that I thought weren't a big deal started to add up. Giving up on these like little little things that were actually like necessary things just made me depressed it's really ironic because i was giving up these things because i thought like love wins over everything but i was just making it worse for everyone like i was sabotaging myself sabotaging my own life sabotaging my relationship with him because i wasn't making time for myself get me wrong, I think investing in your romantic and platonic relationships is super key to living a fulfilling life, but you can't do any of that if you're falling apart in the process. For a long time, I thought that making time for yourself meant that you were selfish or no. I didn't think of that about other people. I only thought about it. About <laughs> I only thought about that toward myself. Double standards. There are more than enough resources, more than enough time for you to take care of yourself and take care of another person. Does that make sense? I didn't really explain, but <laughs> let me think. It's a necessity for you to take care of yourself. Once you do that, <laughs> then what? But you can give your time to other people, you know? The more you give to yourself, the more capacity you have to give to other people. Because if you do not give to yourself and you do not take care of yourself, depression is just gonna freaking reel you in, snatch you up, you're gonna be stuck in bed crying or something, and you can't help anyone when you're stuck in bed crying. That's just the truth. So I know everything that I've talked about so far is pretty abstract and I wanted to give you some like concrete things that you can think about and work on if improving your relationships and practicing self-care is something you want to work on. So let me pull out a list. Aside from basic needs like shelter, safety, sense of belonging, food, these are the things that I consider essential to my well-being and you can make your own list too. I need to eat healthy regular meals, sleep six to eight hours a night. I need to work on that one. 
Exercise often, shower, maintain a clean and organized living space, and have quality time alone. Meeting these needs does not need to be super rigid. If I skip up on one every once in a while, it's not the end of the world. As long as it's only from time to time. If you are skipping up on these every single day, we got problems. Basically the goal is to prioritize these needs as much as possible. If you're in a difficult situation right now and you can't meet all of those essentials and needs, it's okay. Do not stress about it. Stress is the enemy. We are goodbye stress. Don't worry. The main thing is that you need to like intend on working toward it. If you're down in the dumps and you are just super depressed or something, first of all that fucking sucks. Been there, done that. Everyone's situation is different, but if you want to improve your life and your relationships and your happiness, you need to make small goals that are practical. If you have spent the last week laying in your bed, you haven't showered, have hardly even eaten, your goals are going to need to be a lot smaller than someone who getting out of bed is not a problem for them. So if you're struggling right now, pick just one thing on your list. Focus on the one thing and try to improve that thing. For example, you want to exercise more. You haven't exercised in a while and the whole idea of it is kind of daunting. Try to make a really like extremely small, like hilariously, stupidly small, like, like almost embarrassingly small, actually yes, embarrassingly small goal. You don't need to tell anybody and try to meet that goal. I did this thing where I just tried to do 10 push-ups a day. I know that that will take less than one minute. Fantastic goal. You know how they say the hardest part is starting something? Um, it's fucking true. Checking something off the list today, 10 push-ups, check, will motivate you to do other things as well. Action inspires action. Read that in a book. Can't remember what book, but I think about it a lot and it really helps. Hi, so I hope that was helpful for at least one of you because I know that I would have liked to know that nine months ago. So I would love to know your tips on singlehood and self-love and relationships. And if you have any tips, leave them in the comments and a thumbs up this video if you liked it. And oh my gosh, how could I forget? Goodness gracious. How could I forget to tell you? Subscribe! Talk to you later. Do you ever just wonder what people are up to? Like, what's going on in this guy's life? To make him drive up on the dirt in his Jeep and just sit on top of his car? Should I ask him? Should I ask him what he's up to? <laughs> Would that be weird? He looks like he's going through it, kind of. Hi! <laughs> I was just wondering... How are you doing? <laughs> I did it. I said hello to a stranger. Juan, I thought he was potentially in his feels, or really, like, going through something, but turns out he was just budgeting. <laughs> He was reading a book about budgeting, which is honestly great. I would rather him be reading a book about budgeting than sipping. Well, not sipping. I'd rather him be reading a book about budgeting than sitting up there being sad. So, maybe you'll see this video one day.